upstairs when I can't show you Kenna because I don't want do near Kenna when's there do near yeah. that way we don't give a location out there's Kenna and just on the way here I found a wallet it's dry um, with loads of bank cards driving licenses everything in it so that will be put in here and that will get returned to the owner because well, he's got his driving license so we should be able to find him oh, look at that. so there we are we'll bring you back when we hopefully find something so let's get something. digging yeah, He's getting really, really excited. He should have his gloves on. I should have my gloves on, but I've, I've spotted this before I even... So, we've only been here for about four, not even five minutes, and then he's watched. This is what I think it is. Then he got excited. There you go. There you go. Oh. oh, he's got to sell his first cord. <laughs> hey! Way gone. He's got a thingy. He's got a marble. He's got a marble. He's got a marble in as well. Get in. Oh, you jammy bugger. <laughs> that was real. Nice fine. Oh, sorry. Right, we're back. Let's think I might have a bit of a cream pot in here. Just a bit of one. Oh, yep. There we go, folks. Is that a bottom? Oh, yeah, I've got a top for that. <coughs> I know I have. You can have it. First find of the day for me. There we are. But Wayne's um, thing, Wayne, oh, he's going to turn he's... the jackpot. No. Oh! Shoot. Found a bullet. A bullet casing. War buttons. Yes. He's found three. Go on. Three go on. on. <laughs> Get in there, in. One for all of us. Ah, oh, look at that, man. One, two, three, all. Got all well, mine, mate, because this is going to come in over here as well. I bought it. If you can see that over there. <laughs> Looks like it's got onto a beer. You can see it there. There's quite a lot down here. I can say. Um, it's getting into it. Is it breaking? There you go on. Oh, yes. Yes, it's it cool as well. Oh, this bottle is the property of Bamford Price and Co Market Street Drayton. Go on. And I got my little meat juice as well. Can't go nowhere without a meat juice. Definitely. And it looks like there's a big one there, one there, one there. Oh, look at that. You want to carry on for doing oh, are you? He's, Kenneth's got a square ink well. Some one of them ones. Um, it's yeah, it's one of them. Wayne will read it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely little find there. Fields, Fields Inc. <laughs> and gum. And gum. Fields Inc. and gum. And there's a pack number there. Anyone wants to look it up? <laughs> Yeah, I Double six zero them. six nine four. Yeah, week, Wicked days, they are. Yeah, one of them. And there you have it. We'll get back to you when we get someone else. Yep, catch you in a bit. One of them ones, square ink wells that Kenna pulled out, and uh, scrubs. It's got a bit of the flags on it. As well, still got the stopper. Uh, as Wayne says, here he is. There's Kenna, it's going to be a good day. Keep watching. Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> here, here comes Kenner, there he is. Found me sell a Patterson's of Glasgow with the original top in it, so he's keeping it. That'll go in his bucket. This one more yep. And there's Wayne. Hello. <laughs> there's these two bottles in a cluster. Dolphins and the rice on that book. Yeah. And pop it in the bucket. This one is Scott's emotion. It's quite a big one now. And my dad. Where is it? Yeah. Um, my dad has found these little teaspoons. 
I am trying to get an oil can out that Wayne got last week, but this one's a blue colour. Yeah, it's blue. So I'll come back to you when he's got it in. This scrubs bottle. Just as I ended the other video. That's oh, fine, Dad. It's got some motion, small one. He's just got the big one. A little boat type thing. A little vial, a couple of toppers and that. Um, another topper. And another nice brown. Yeah. And Wayne's just pulled that one out, nothing on it. So, keep watching him, well, oh, and this. The old oil can, but unfortunately, as you can see, it's a bit past it, so, not to worry. Right, one beer bottle, no markings, unfortunately. One lid, no markings. But, look at this. I've just pulled it out. It's... Burgess Oh Burgess Heis the road Oh I don't know Pace off a pasture yeah, But it's a royal appointment lid And it's not broken So that's the first ever one of them I've ever found So well happy Good find, Dad. Thank you, son. Doing a little bottle. Just be careful, member Matt, because if it's what I think it might be, you got to be careful with them because they're quite fragile. Come on. Yes. Oh, there he goes, folks. He's got his cell. A nice melting. Show us then, Matt. Might nearly just. Show us then. Nearly swallowed ash by accident, but. There we go. Worth it. <laughs> it's got a nice Milton for its collection. Here it is. It's even got a bit of the topper in it. My collection is yeah. getting on very well. Oops, wait a minute. There it is. It All on. right. Catch you in a bit. Any ideas on this? It's heavy. I think by looking at it, you can't see it very good for the light. I think it's for keeping matches in World War One, World War Two. Match striker. There it is. Oops. Big champagne, a, a beer, but there's nothing on it, so I'll not be taking it home. Big Scots emulsion, Yorkshire relish. That's just a thingy one, and they're all blank. Oh, in a green. There we are. And it's still got the stopper in. <laughs> no, it's fine, Dad. Just found this. Um, this. And this. No, it's fine, Dad. Dad's found his tablespoons. And his mosquito on me. And this pond, but it's clear. No, it's fine, Dad. You'd be out, Charles, Buntu, or something like that. No, it's fine, Dad. Why, Pot? No taking it home. William Stretch Utoxeter Beer, Tablespoon, and Little Brown. And one of them. Yep. Wayne's got a right collection down there as well. So, here he is. <laughs> the hand. The hand. Back. And Wayne's found Steer Wine Merchants Rill. Beautiful bottle that is. To go with his cod. There we are. Um, two nice inkles. <laughs> and a really nice stuffer. Keep watching. Back again. I'm just hoping this is a good day. Oh! Batkins WOB Stafford. Like a little skittle shit. Yeah, it ain't so. There you go, folks. Catch you in a bit. So far. Just like someone's recently pulled out. That's cool. Okay, what pulled out? Nice fine swine.
I've just checked the address on the driving license and we know where the man lives, Wayne knows where the street is. The exact street in my, <coughs> in my village. <laughs> in Wayne's village, so we will be doing a little video when we're on the way back home. We're going to stop and return the man's wallet, so we'll ask him if we can video. Little boots of chemist. Another ink well and a big whiskey bottle, but I'm not taking that one home, no markings on it. And that'll be us for today. Next time you see me, I'll be showing you it cleaned up, <laughs> so catch you in a bit. We've had a look for the house, we can't find it. So there was a passing police car, there's Wayne there. And Ken is in the back somewhere, he's ever there. Um, We've handed the wallet over to the police and we had a laugh with them. They asked us what we were doing. And <laughs> they said to you, Wayne, hope you've not been burying dead bodies. Wayne said, no, we've done that yesterday. <laughs> the things he comes out with is unreal, but the wallet's been handed to the police now, so we're going to put a post up on Great Haywood site and then we can... Well, the owners will know where to retrieve their wallet from. So, I'll see when they get all. Right, just a quick run through. Pulled this out. But, I know it's not old, but... I brought it back just to keep all these in. For usual topper. There they are. Usual, whoop, usual suspects. Our whites. Is um, LBC not got a clue and a little glass one. There we Them ones have not cleaned up the big scrubs, the Anzora flora, and the Scots emulsion yet. So, them ones are there. That's them. But I did clean up, well, tried to clean up. This big scrub's fluid. There we are. So that's that one, but I do keep all the little stoppers. I've got a right jar of them for spares in case we find anything that needs it. And your normal yeast extracts bottle. That'll go with the scrubs to... Pardon me, the... To the thing we're working on. Another little brown melting. Perfect. Same as that one. And that one's thing weed. Uh, ridged. That's them. Mackenzie's not cleaned as yet, so. Then I came across this. I thought it was unusual, and you can see the big bubble in the glass and that. I know it's a screw top, and I don't always bring them back, but something different, so I thought, yeah, I'll bring it back. The wife might use it for putting hair clips or something in. And then we come to the usual suspects. we got one, two, four... Four of them, then we got the square one, Mackenzie got one as well, it's, I don't know if you can see it properly, he, Fields, Ink and Gum, and it's got the trademark on that one, ken has got one, then I got that one, and then I got this one, this one's weird because the way the neck is and everything and these are not the same neither they're just not the same right, I'll bring you back Hopefully in a minute that's them. then you can't go away for your tip without a ball bro and for usual suspects the valentine's meat juices they just seem to be everywhere and the usual green pot but this one I had to keep as I say I don't collect screw tops 
but this one's a Boots the Chemist. And I don't have one of them in with my brown collection, so... I know it's a screw top, folks, but... And the store still needs a bit of a clean, but... I thought, hmm... Something different. Don't know what would have been in it, but... Yeah. As you can see, them meat juices, I'm just overrun by them. And then... I got a little one. And then I got an even smaller one. That's got a nice pattern going round it as well. Yep. Now, that one, I did break the top a little bit. It seems to have something going right the way through the middle from the that's on the stopper. So if you have any ideas, most appreciated if you could let me know what you think. And I'll just put them two in there. Then I know they're safe because the wife likes them little tiny ones. That's it so far. Then the usual green bottoms. I have got lids, that's why I bring them back and I always just double check. And there's another one. There's a few chips out them, but when they've got a lid on, it looks not too bad. And they got this one. It's right weird. And it's got a brick in it. I can't get the brick out, so I don't know if I'm going to keep it or donate it. The same as the rest of them that we're working on. Then I got this little one. Boots the Chemist. I do like them ones. So, that's that one. Now, if anybody can help me. I don't know if that's a green bottle with a big um, top in it. But as you can see, it's full of white crystals. See the stopper thing still in it. But I don't want to open it. And... I can't see no markings, so if anybody, sorry about that, if anybody's any idea, I'd be most interested to find out what he's thinking. It's a bit skew with as well, it's not, the neck's not straight on it. Then, move on to a little teaspoon, then a tablespoon, then a different tablespoon and an even different tablespoon. I must have about eight or nine completely different ones of them, to be honest. So that's it so far. And then we come over to the Lovitz little things and another Lovitz. So I've got quite a lot of them as well now. I keep giving them away, but hey ho, it's just one of them. And now one of my favourites. It's a Batkins MOB Stafford. And uh, it does have writing on the back as well. Bo Bottle Maker Barnsley. I'm sure I've got one of them. I'm sure I have. There we go. I'm sure I have. I think it's water, that one. And then we come on to my favourites. William Stretch Utoxeter. Got a couple of them then. And Charles Bunting Utoxeter. And the... Uh, is that Charles Bunting? Yeah, Charles Bunting Utoxeter and another Bamf Bamford and Son uh, Bamford and Price and Co um, Stafford Market Street Stafford I really like them ones but my, be my best find today has got to be this Burgess 
genuine anchovy paste for the toast and the biscuits, etc. I'm super happy with that. Really happy. Yeah, it does need a better clean, but it's the first one of them I've got. So, super happy. So if you have any ideas on dates on that, be most interested to find out. Um, Peter Barton, Pat Saul, and them, thank you all so much for all your help that you give me every time we go bottle digging. These are both amazing. And everybody who's um, joined our channel, you should pop over to the Crazy Sticky Magnet Club. Um, it's a charity run club by us and we've got big auctions and free giveaways and all sorts. So I just want to give a shout out to Magnetic Max as well. Magtech UKYT, uh, BH2O Brothers in America for the Transatlantic Partnership. And... The Slack Clan as well, DS Magnet Fishing, um, Kiwi Cobbler, there's just so many people out there um, that have got amazing channels, should check them out. Um, and Magnet Fishing Edinburgh, Magnet Fishing Gla Glasgow, Magnet Fishing, sorry, big shout outs to them as well. So that's me folks, I'm not going to bore you any longer and thank you ever so much and hopefully see you in the next one. Keep on digging. He's in. Looks like World War One, World War Two buttons Mackenzie found and it looks like a match. You know for holding your matches. Sorry folks, holding your matches. Looks like a striker on the side as well. So, if anybody's any idea the best way to clean them up without damaging them, I'll be most grateful to find out. But that one's definitely got a crest of some sort on it. And these have got designs on them as well. So, if you know, let us know the best way to do this. I'll be most grateful. Could be World War One, World War Two. Fingers crossed.